Are you spending hours copying and pasting Primavera data into Excel to manipulate the data for Power BI reports and dashboards? This video shows you how to automate the entire process by unlock XTR Primavera file data with Power Query and no third-party tools needed. This video is for reading and exploring XCR file only, which is the easiest part of the overall process. Let's start the process by having some XCR files in this folder. For getting the file path with its name, I recommend two ways. Select the file, right-click, copy the path. Or, right-click, Properties, Security, from Object Name box, copy the path of the file. Now open New Power BI file. Open Power Query from Home Transfer Data. First step, add new parameter. From Home, Manage Parameter, New Parameter. Change parameter name to XCR path. Paste the XCR file path in the current value field. OK, the parameter is created. Parameter is a variable that store a value that can be reused in your queries. So you can change the values of parameter without edit the query itself. I will show you change effect later in this video. Now I will create temporary query for explaining the methods manually. Then automate the process. Right click in the empty area in the query pane. Blank query. First read the file content through the file path. File.content function and inside the parentheses XCR path. That's the parameter we have defined before. As you see, we read the file and the size of the file. We will use csv.document function and inside the parentheses file.content. Now the file has been read in one column only. Power query sometime generate automatic step called change type. So always remove it. Add some parameters to CSV document function inside square brackets. First parameter delimiter as this CSV file contains column with tab in between. So delimiter equal tab. As you can see, the maximum columns number are eight only. Adding another parameter to increase columns to 80. Now we have many columns. Again, remove change type step. We can see some strange samples, so we should add parameter for encoding. Equal 1252 to read them correctly. Now currency samples change it. Again, remove change it type step. Now we have read all the data in the XCR file. Next step to explain how to read this data by dividing the table into ranges. These ranges will be presented as a tables later. If we open column one filter, I have find five items. Percent %E is the end of the file, which I will not use. And the last name also I will not use. So I will select only percentage T, percentage F, and percentage R, which will be explained later. Let me explain the table and how to use it. The data divided into tables. Each table start with percentage T in the first column. The table name is in column two in front of percentage T in column one. In this example, table PROG WPS is the table of project WPS definition. Table RSRC is the table for resources definition. I will explain how to find the table's names and 
field's name in each. The second record after percentage T is percentage F, which the row contains the name of the table fields. After that, percentage R is the records of the table with values under each field. Now let's review the data for task table and how to make the table which contains activity ID, name, duration, and dates. I will select the records range between rows 89 and 137. We have many records and columns now. As you can see, columns, activity ID, and name under task ID and task name. Columns for date like actual, late, early start, and finish dates. After selecting the table data, I will remove the first row with percentage T, which contains the table name. From home, remove rows, remove top rows 1. For row percentage F, promotes to header. Transfer, use first row as header. Now let's start the real work. Copy the source step from query 1. Create new plan query. Paste the formula in the source. Filter column 1, 4. Percentage T. Percentage F and percentage R only. Let me explain the next method. I will add new column in the table with condition. If column 1 equal percentage T, then contain column 2 value, else null. So in this case, the new column contains the table names and the null in between. Then make fill down for the column which replace the null value with the above value. Finally, I have table name in front of each record related to the table. And in this case, no need for record with percentage T in column 1. And now let's apply by creating the column called table name. If column 1 equal percentage T, then column 2 else null. Move table name column to the beginning. Fill down as discussed before. Now filter column 1 to remove percentage T records. Remove column 1. Change query name to XER and let's delete query 1. No need for it. As you can see, table name column contains the tables inside XCR. To know the tables and the data inside XCR, you can review the following Oracle XCR map guide website. I will leave the link in the video description. Expand the content. As example, task. You can find the field name and the related column name inside Primavera. As you see, actual finish, table task act, for each task and their related activity codes, table task bread, for each task and their predecessors tasks, table task RSRC for each task assigned resources with all the details like quantity, curve names, and so on, table project cost for expenses cost. Now XCR query completed. Don't add any further steps inside it because we will use this query as reference for creating all the tables. Now let's create task table. Select XCR, right click references. 
rename the new query to tasks. Filter table name column to task. Promote first row to header. As usual, remove change type step. Now let's select some columns as a sample. From corner menu, choose columns. I will select task code, task name, and some dates. Let me change the dates format. Select dates columns from home data type from text to date I got an error remove the previous step because the text is similar to date time format change format to date time format then change format to date and add it as new step we have completed task table I recommend not to load XCR table into your Power BI page as this table sometimes will be huge. Select XCR, right click, uncheck enable load. Now let's review the data in Power BI page. Close Power Query and apply. Let's create visual table for task ID, task names, and dates. Also create visual card for tasks count. Remember task count is 47. In the first step of the method, we have created parameter for XCR path. Let's change this parameter now. From home, transfer data, edit parameter. I will change XER path with new path. Copy the new XER file path. Paste in the value of XER path. Apply changes. Now all the data change it and task count change it to 2449. Perfect. We can do the same procedure in Excel. Simply in the Power Query of Power BI, select all queries. Copy, open Excel, new workbook, data, get data, launch Power Query editor. In the queries area, right click and paste. All the data are OK. Close and apply. The task table created in separate sheet. Now review my previous video, which is based on XCR files, baseline versus update, interactive WBS for progress data, cost and resource data, the related curves, and many, many more. Subscribe and like if you're interested in continue this series. Enjoy automation.